Uh, hi, my YouTube friends. Um, what I want to show you is this um, sound fitted um, Class 20 and the new Class 20 from Backman. Um, it's just the RS livery uh, with a large lo logo. Uh, what I want to buy is um, another um, Class 20 so I can create a consist. Um, but the one I want next is the one with a smaller logo. Um, same price, um, which is not cheap. Um, these are pretty good. The, the, the sound's got an awful lot of uh, sounds, uh, which I'll show you later. And uh, you've got complete control over the lights, um, which again I'll show you later. Um, one of the things I like is the uh, cab light. Um, as the locomotive moves away, the cab light goes out and comes on again when stationary. Now, I like those sort of things. Um, the sound it makes, again, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, they're okay. Uh, the speaker um, is one of those um, systems where the speaker's already put in there for you, and all you do is add the sound decoder if you bought the analog version. Um, um, running under analog, by the way, you can still control the lights via dip switches, and I'll show you that later as well. Um, what I've decided to do is to put this speaker in from you choose. Um, I believe that the sound quality will be improved considerably. Um, this is 28 millimeters by 18 millimeters by 7 millimeters, and is, there's a particular spot where uh, I want to install this and again I'll show you that I'll show you how I do it okay <clears throat> now I've got it out of the, the box you can see the large logo with the uh, compass the other one uh, I'd like to go with this is the one with the small DRRS logo um, eventually I'll, I'll get one of those but these are lovely detailed uh, locomotives, the, the the undercarriage and the buffers um, just about everything is uh, really nice um, so what I'll do is I'll start it up and uh, just play a couple of sounds um, you can start it up in uh, cold engine startup which takes a little bit longer but, but I'll just start up in a normal way so here goes For me, that's uh, a little tinny um, for my likings, which is why I want to have a go at installing uh, this twin speaker. Um, I'll play a couple of sounds. That apparently is the air brake. A single horn, double horn. And I'll just run it a little bit. Okay, now it's moving on the rolling road. I'll shut it down now. Turn it off. What I'll do is I'll probably have to go and work in the shed now because the birds won't let me do it. Right, okay. I've just done, done two screws, one front, one back, and the body comes off um, quite easily. Just have to be careful, there are two wires. Uh, sorry, there's a block of wires that uh, go to the... Uh, I would imagine the, the cab lights and, and so on, marker lights, whatever. Um, this, tilt this slightly. This is the uh, speaker that they install 
apparently on all the models um, analog and obviously the one with sound um, these are pickups wires now what I want to do is remove this uh, speaker <clears throat> but as you can see when I get that into there it won't fit well that's there then what I want to do is desolder this so I can take this socket out solder these two wires straight on to the board and there's two strips underneath here that the speaker fits on top of uh, which creates the circuit um, what I'll then do is uh, remove the speaker and solder these on <clears throat> take this socket off solder these onto the board and uh, away you go what I'll try and do is do a comparison between the sound this makes this speaker and this one and see whether or not you can hear a difference so I'll be back again um, in a second bye for now i just quickly show you this is the original speaker which I assume is just a small version of a sugar cube and those two prongs there uh, and there get into shot those two prongs there fit on top of those two strips there, one there and one there uh, so you'd literally just put the speaker on it uh, there's no soldering needed um, at the factory um, what I've got to do now is I've got to lift the circuit board because the screw is holding this on because I need to take this off uh, from the underneath upwards um, why did not do the opposite way make it easy for me, I don't know uh, so that's up for this part <laughs> okay now I've, uh, I've removed this um, square um, mounting point, that speaker uh, that was on there, that speaker I screwed on to. And you can see the two plates that I'm soldering to for the speaker more clearly now. Um, and again, this is going to fit in there. It's fitting really nicely there once I remove this plug. Um, can't put it there because it fouls on the body so it's got to be removed um, so that's the next uh, thing is desolder this and uh, solder these two wires onto the board and then these two speaker wires yeah. onto these points and uh, I'll show you that I'll be back again in a second um, Hi again um, as you can see I've uh, removed the socket that was here which is very easy to do. Um, I found two uh, solder points under the board uh, for pickups uh, and I soldered the two wires that were here um, underneath. Um, so as you can see all this is now free. Um, I soldered the speaker on to the two points and I'm just about to fit it on there and the height um, should be after doing all the measurements perfect I'll just use a small amount of black tack um, on this you know, to hold the speaker in place I'll put the top back on and then um, let's hope that there should be a uh, difference in sound I mean it should be there's two speakers in this enclosure and a better sound box uh, than the other speaker. Um, these are 4 ohm speakers. Um, I'll show you another speaker a bit later um, that I'm going to use in my uh, new HST um, as a sort of replacement for the EM2 and EM1 speaker. <clears throat> I'll show you that later. So that's this bit. Next bit you'll see the top back on. Uh, right, here we go. Let's start it up. It does seem much better than this much smaller speaker. 
and sandbox. Um, do I think it's worthwhile? Yes, I do. Um, you may be able to get a bigger speaker in, but I think this one's more than adequate. Um, let's see what we I think it's uh, well worthwhile. It wasn't a great deal of work to uh, take the old speaker out. This is very easy. Just four screws hold that in. And this bracket, uh, again you have to take the circuit board, unscrew that to get the screws underneath um, to get that out. But um, if you combine that with um, soldering the wires um, for the pickups underneath the circuit board, which again uh, was very easy, um, particularly if you're good if you're good at soldering. But you may be happy with this uh, smaller speaker um, if you buy one of these. But that double speaker with a larger sandbox um, is much better. I'll try and do a comparison uh, with what I've just showed you and the previous sounds and uh, at the end and see whether or not um, there's a difference. The dip switches by the way are in there. I think there's four to control the lights um, but I won't go into that. If you buy one of these or if you have one of these you'll know. Um, so that's it. Uh, when I get to my other uh, class 20, uh, I'm not sure how long that's going to be, um, I'll replace the speaker in that as well. The other speaker, by the way, I wanted to mention is this one. Um, that ch chap at uh, YouTube suggested a buy as an alternative to the EM1 or EM2 speaker. Um, the disadvantage of an EM2, one speaker rather, not EM2, EM1, is it's only half a watt. So you need a second speaker to go with it. Um, sort of soldered together. Um, in series, uh, I would imagine, would be a better option. Um, these are two watt speakers, so you need one of these. So I'll put this in my HST. Um, I won't show you me doing that, but what I will show you is the sounds this, this speaker makes. And you decide then whether uh, it's worth buying. Um, so that's it for now. Uh, Here goes. Well, for me, that's uh, a little tinny um, for my likings, which is why I want to have a go at installing uh, this twin speaker. Um, I'll play a couple of sounds. That apparently is the air brake, a single horn, double horn, and I'll just run it a little bit. Okay, now it's moving on the rolling road. Turn it off. It 
this seem much better than this much smaller speaker and sound box. Um, do I think it's worthwhile? Yes, I do. Um, you may be able to get a bigger speaker in, but I think this one's more than adequate. Um, let's see what we'll go.